Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Tuesday, June 29th. Three very important things to cover today. First, on EIDL loan increases. We have new numbers on total approvals and what to expect in the coming couple of weeks. For most of you, you are still waiting. We've heard from the SBA on some changes that are upcoming. So I'll talk about that and how you can prepare. Secondly, a lot of you have been denied for targeted or supplemental EIDL grants for various reasons. We covered all the main reasons on our blog a couple months ago. One of the more common scenarios is if your business name does not match your bank account name, and that's often due to you not separating personal and business expenses or not having a business bank account set up. We've just put up a post on 10 techniques to keep personal and business finances separate and why it's important. It's a great article. I highly recommend it. Even if you've already done this, there may be things that you're missing, such as the DUNS number to build your business credit, which can help with future grants and loans. And if you have been denied for an EIDL loan increase, what to email the SBA for reconsideration. We have a pre-populated email for you. A quick look at the new Shuttered Venue Operators Grant data. Be sure to watch until the end. I'll keep today's video quick. And by the way, next week we are starting our giveaway program again. If you've subscribed for a few months now, you know we've been donating most of our YouTube revenue back to subscribers of this channel. So hit subscribe, then download our free app. It's at HelloSkip in the App Store and Google Play. We started this, I believe, last August where we were donating our YouTube revenue to give out stimulus checks. This is when we were still waiting for Congress to pass a bill. It took several months between last March and December for them to pass a second bill. So in the meantime, we started giving out grants and gave away tens of thousands of dollars. Next week after the 4th of July, we're going to pick it up again, some summer grants. For all of you watching this channel, all you have to do is be a subscriber. And if you want to get a head start and you've used our app, we're giving extra entries for our first drawing next week for people who leave us reviews on the App Store or Google Play. We have thousands of reviews, so we'd love to hear from you, especially if you value these videos. If you have us installed, leave us a review, and then leave a comment in the video here, and we'll get in touch with you. We'll keep it easy this time. Here's the news I covered over the weekend in case you missed it. Very important. The SBA has only approved 30,000 EIDL loan increases. That's either half glass full or half glass empty. Bottom line, it's still a lot fewer than the total amount of people in the queue. 30,000 according to our sources for a total amount of $4.5 billion. In addition, this is a big one. 28,000 new EIDL loans have been approved for $4.6 billion. That's an average new EIDL loan amount of $168,000. That's up from the previous average of $54,000. There's two main holdups for the EIDL loan increase approvals. Number one, the amount of loan officers. There aren't that many. The SBA wants to hire more loan officers. I think they're working on it. And number two, getting tax transcripts from the IRS to the SBA so then a loan officer can look at everything, look at your tax transcript, and say yay or nay when it comes to your EIDL loan increase request. The SBA is working on an alternative to that IRS tax transcript issue. Some other way of potentially verifying your revenue information. So that's positive news. But let me leave you with two main takeaways here. Number one, if you have not applied for an EIDL loan, you should strongly consider it. COVID19relief.sba.gov. Up to $500,000. That's 24 months of working capital. 3.75% interest. The SBA is processing new EIDL loans just as quick as existing EIDL loans. And for new EIDL loan applicants, you will also be eligible for the targeted 10K and supplemental 5K grants once you apply for an EIDL loan. The last reason there with the new infrastructure bill, which hasn't been signed into law just yet, there's talk of reallocating some unused relief funds to the infrastructure bill to help pay for the plan. There's two ways they're going to pay for the plan. Increase tax enforcement and potentially reallocating other unused COVID relief funds, both from city states and potentially SBA unused funds. So there's a chance that even though this program is supposed to be open until the end of 2021, the SBA may decide to change that. So that's the call to action. Most of you already applied there. But the good news is the SBA has said they are going to increase the pace. Some of the data we have shows that the pace is increasing, at least on targeted approvals. So hang in there. Okay, I'll show you what you can email the SBA if you've been rejected for an EIDL loan increase and you want to get in touch with them. Of course, every case is different, but bottom line, it is a good idea to email. If you believe that you are eligible and someone's misread your information, for example, they can't verify your information, then you should absolutely email them, request reconsideration, get someone on the phone. Here's a couple tips right here. You know, this is on our app, HelloSkip in the App Store and Google Play. 
For Skip Plus users, just scroll down. It's a post from yesterday. We have a pre-populated email you can send to the SBA. You will need to include your business information, application number, phone, email, etc., so they can verify who you are. And the main goal here is to get the conversation going with the SBA, to get a loan officer to look at your application. Like everything with the SBA, it may take a while, but it's worth doing. Again, we're talking about very low interest loans and grants as well. So it's worth doing. Again, this is on the app. We're also adding more pre-populated emails that you can send as well in the coming few days. So stay tuned for that. Chartered Venue Operators Grant is increasing applications. There's been over 2,000 grants awarded. That's up from 1,445 last week. So we've almost doubled the number of grants awarded for SVOG over the past week. $1.5 billion in grants have been awarded. $720 million has already been dispersed. There's a whole funnel here of new applications in review, decisions awarded, declined. And I said to our SBA contact and to Isabel Guzman, can we get data like this for the targeted EIDL grants and for the EIDL loan increases? This would be amazing to see the entire funnel. They have a small data team, but I'm hopeful that they'll work on this because I know for many of you wondering where you are in the queue, that's all you care about. Is it going to be two days before I get approval or two months Something like this would be very helpful. That's today's quick update. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to go download our free app. And if you want to get an entry into our giveaways that are starting up again next week, $500 grants, consider leaving us a review on Google Play and the App Store. If you do leave a review, let us know in the comments. We'll get in touch with you. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.